Think of a race car speeding along a straight track. It is an example of the simplest form of motion, motion in one dimension. The race car goes forward and backward only. Displacement is the difference between the starting and ending positions of an object. Displacement can be positive or negative. Velocity is the rate of change in displacement or the change in displacement per unit of time. Velocity includes both speed and direction. Acceleration is the rate of change in velocity or change in velocity per unit of time. Examples include speeding up and slowing down. Click the Feature tab to explore how acceleration affects displacement and velocity in one dimension. How do displacement and velocity change as you adjust the acceleration of a race car? Adjust the acceleration of the race car by moving the slider. Look at the graphs to see how displacement, velocity, and acceleration change over time. You can experiment with changing the car's acceleration or pause the animation to look more closely at the results. Click Reset to begin again. Each column shows graphs of displacement and acceleration for the same moving car. Which graph of velocity matches each situation? Drag the correct graph into each space, then click OK. Not quite. Use the feature to check your answers and try again. Remember that velocity is the rate of change in displacement and acceleration is the rate of change in velocity. When the car travels forward at a constant speed, acceleration is zero, velocity is positive, and displacement is increasing at a steady rate. When the car speeds up, acceleration is positive, velocity is increasing, and displacement grows at an increasing rate. When the car slows down, acceleration is negative and velocity decreases. Displacement remains positive 
but it doesn't increase as quickly as when acceleration is positive and velocity increases. When the car reverses direction, acceleration and velocity are negative and velocity and displacement decrease. For situations with constant acceleration, such as those you saw in the previous understanding activity, displacement can be calculated from velocity, acceleration, and elapsed time using this quadratic equation. Click each variable in the equation to see what it represents. Delta x Delta x is the displacement, that is, the difference between the ending and starting positions. V initial is the initial velocity of the object. Delta T is the change in time, that is, the final time minus the initial time. A is the acceleration, that is, the rate of change in velocity. For this equation to be valid, acceleration must be constant over a given time period.